Well, this is a $140,000 Audi TT RS, $146,000 to be precise in the exact vehicle we're driving. But I just wanted to show you this Audi virtual cockpit because it is just sensational. If anything, it's the standout in the motoring industry. There's a couple of great things about it. Firstly, uh, firing up the car, obviously we've got a push start button here. And so this entire area here is a computer display. Um, it's completely customizable um, and everything appears digitally. Now that's, that's all pretty cool, of course. Um, but what really matters is how customizable it is. So we're in the radio mode at the moment and we can change the view to be, make the radio more prominent. Not sure you'd really want to do that. But, you know, having the speedo and, and such things prominent is pretty, pretty darn cool. The real difference is when you go into other modes. So we won't go into mobile phone mode, we'll go into map mode here. So in this case here, the map is, you know, part of the navigation. So you can, you can have a full view of the speedo, but you can also have a nice on-screen view of the map. There's no second screen here at all. This car doesn't have a second infotainment screen. It's purely based around this little guy here. So what's really cool though, is when you uh, when you go into full full view mode. So we can switch from here into here, and driving along, that is one spectacular view. It really is. It just takes <clears throat> the full focus, and it, it's not distracting at all. In fact, it's it's quite compelling because you don't have to look to the side to see any of the navigation. Now you sure saw a glimpse glimpse of it there. Um, this also has Apple CarPlay, and again, in Apple CarPlay, you would normally have a second screen here, but what they've done is they've integrated it here so that, yes, I can have a, a full view of the Speedo, but <clears throat> I can have the full Apple CarPlay view. Now, I guess the issue with this is Apple CarPlay is normally a touch screen interface, so in this car, you have to use uh, this navigation uh, dial here, and that's how we navigate around <clears throat> the Apple CarPlay screen. It's pretty good um, because you can you can pretty easily navigate around, but it is a touch clunky when you're trying to find out like how to get over to this how do I get over to this pocket casts icon here? You've got to kind of scroll around, and I actually don't think it's physical. You've got to go all the way past all your menus and then get over there. So there's a few things like that that are just a touch frustrating, um, but in general terms, it's um, it's doing everything you want it to do. So. You know what? It's um, it's pretty pretty special looking system. Um, you can't go past the maps. And it, the good news is in the Audi TT RS, it's um, it's uh, included. But uh, in many Audis, it's an optional extra. It's an optional extra. I would take every single time, hands down. <clears throat> the last thing I'd say about this car is, and you might not be able to hear this, but I will uh, try and enhance the audio. When we turn the car off and open the door, it's going to remind us that our, car, our phone's still in the car and. There's that Audi little sound that you hear in all the ads that they play as you turn off the car. It's very, very cool. Your mobile phone is still in the vehicle. Your mobile phone is still in the vehicle. This is EFTM. Everything for the man.